whenever you're working with armature or bones for objects inside of Blender, then you can use the pose mode for animation easily. So to show you an example, I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and then I'm going to bring an armature first. So here I have an armature and in order to add an armature, uh, an armature right here, I'm going to go around and press Tab on my keyboard. I'm going to press E and then I can bring out the armature right here. I can go around, press E and E right here, just like this. And go around, press E, E, E and so forth, as you can see. I'm going to press tab and this is what I have, as you can see. So this is a bunch of armatures right here, just like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate this. And to do that, I can select the armature. I can go around into pose mode. So once I do that, I can expand this out and this is what I have. So I'm going to turn on auto keying right here. And what you can do is you can go around and make changes right here. So let's say I'm going to rotate this out right here. This is what I have. I'm going to go around, rotate this out right here. And similarly, I can go around and rotate out other parts of the bone as well. And the keyframes will be added accordingly right here. So let's say I want to really go ahead and then bend this out. And you can see that the movement are all recorded as you can see. So if I were to press the play button, then this is what I have. You can see that it moves out and so forth accordingly. So I can go around over here, move this out right here, move this out right here, move this out right here. So you can make the animation much more complex. You can work around with the detail right here, just like this, and then go around with it. So you can go around, make it more detail right here, make it more detail right here. And depending on the uh, bones that you select, you can see that this is what you can do. So you can go around, select out all, as you can see, you can move these around right here, move these around right here, and this is what you have. If you were to press the play button, you can see that now the armature movement is there. And now if there's any objects that's um, there, then it moves very, very natural um, in a naturalistic way. So that is how you can work around with pose mode with armature inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.